everyone. Welcome to Sweetcast. This is Clint, and we're going to talk about Jason Brubaker. Uh, Jason Brubaker has been crushing crowdfunding comics since, I don't know, 2007, something like that. He's been around for a long time, and I remember uh, I, I followed his career a little bit uh, on and off, and especially toward the beginning, I was reading his blog, and he had a lot of great information on there on making comics from A to Z, like everything, making comics. Um, and I remember him talking about it as the strategy. Um, I think he said this on a podcast at one point in time, and it was so long ago, I can't honestly remember uh, you know, exactly the context or anything like that. But the strategy is exactly what has been working now for so many people, and that is getting to know your audience and giving more than you ask. And that giving uh, comes in the form of all sorts of different things, but a lot of it is content, free stuff people can get. And he's still doing those uh, basics, and he's doing them the right way. Uh, and, yeah, it, it shows, too. Um, so he's also, if I look at some of the things he's done, he's doing some things that other comics creators aren't doing, and I think I want to start doing more of what he's doing. Um, Jason Brubaker is also doing this full-time this is his job he's figured out how to make it work for him and his family and i can say i want to be like jason brubaker when i grow up <laughs> um, i'm not sure exactly how old he was when he made all this work but it works and it's been uh working for him for some number of years so he's proven that it can be a sustainable business model um with, of course, some variations, and I think there's freedom to try some things a little different. So here's his book right now, and when I mean when I say book, I mean books. We're talking about two different books. They're both hardbound, and it's Sithra book five and six, and you can get the complete box set and uh, in slipcase covers. This is really quality stuff. If you're just getting the books themselves and you just needed the, these to complete the collection because you've been following it, then you're talking $50, that's $25 per book, and each of these is significant. Um, we're talking, let's see, 176 pages for book five and 208 pages for book six. This is the kind of stuff that I want to do, especially as a writer. Uh, it feels like you want to be able to have enough room to tell a story and there's something to be said for doing large volumes in a story uh, where you can get a satisfying read and you get enough time that you're escaping into the book. And he's doing that for $25 each book. Now, how he makes the pricing work out, I'm not entirely sure. I know that his profit margins must be a lot slimmer <laughs> than, than, uh, than some of the other projects that are out there. But he's also reaching a lot of people and he has a lot of really loyal fans who are interested in in seeing him through uh, the, the entire project. Um, so I went on here and I checked it out. I'd been meaning to get Sithra for a little while. Um, I read Remind and um, I liked his art a lot. It's really unique. It's very Jason Brubaker. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, which is, I think, an awesome thing to have an art style that really uh, says, you know, it's unique. So I actually did this tier that's $99. I got the complete box set because that's a really good price for six books. And these aren't just Vin floppies. These are sizable books. Um, I, yeah, I'm really forward to get it. I think that'll be great. Uh, so there's some things that we can learn from Jason Brubaker, and I wanted to show you a, a few points. First off, if we were to jump over here and look at his YouTube channel, you're probably going to say 22,000 subscribers is really not that much. And how long ago has he been doing the crowdfunding? Um, he probably had fewer subscribers on YouTube when he was first putting out books. And yeah, that's absolutely true. He didn't have a YouTube channel when he started, or at least not one that I knew of. Uh, since he became so successful, uh, he started doing the YouTube channel to supplement uh, what he was doing. Now, I think that there are some missed opportunities for him on YouTube, and I think he could be doing a little bit more uh, to use YouTube, but I'm, you know, I definitely can't knock him because he's doing a lot right, obviously. Um, so he does make little videos, he does live streams, uh, all sorts of stuff. He has really great thumbnails. 
uh, and that's something that that uh, stands out to me. And his views per video are actually really close to my views per video, uh, right around a thousand. Um, some are lower, some are higher for sure, but he seems to be getting like decent views and have a, a solid fan base that's interested in what it is that he's doing. Um, also, back at his campaign right now, and this campaign's not even a week old. He's got 502 backers. That's already phenomenal. And because the books are a little bit more expensive than uh, some projects for any given tier, he's almost made $50,000. No doubt uh, he will be uh, probably passing $100,000 by the time his campaign has ended. Uh, so great for him. Now, if you were just to look at the YouTube channel, you'd be missing the picture. This is his blog. This is coffeetablecomics.com. And I think there's a lot more to it here. He gives, uh, he's got this cogn cognitive drawing series and books that he's done there or a book on how to draw better. And uh, it's been really, really useful stuff. Really, really useful blog. Another thing he's doing is he's giving out his graphic novel, Remind, for free if you sign up for his mailing list. Mailing list. <laughs> this is all basic marketing principles and it gets overlooked often. Because I think a lot of people think you need to be some major YouTube personality or have a massive following that's connected to you every day. And while, yeah, that's great, that is really, really good. And obviously, Jason is doing some of that kind of stuff. Um, still, what it comes down to is just having contact information for people who at least have some interest in your books. This is really, really important. Um, now, what drives traffic to his blog or his website? Well, there's lots of content here that's free. There's stuff he's giving to you, right? There's a graphic novel right there he's giving to you. There's this cognitive drawing uh, information that you can look up. And there's you can download the PDF. Like There's, there's all sorts of stuff here that he's giving out for free. Uh, and that really helps a lot, <laughs> quite a bit. He also has a store and a few other things. Um, so, yeah, this has been really, really cool. And I think... I could learn something from it and I want to learn something from it. Um, all his books here, he's still selling them. It's not like it's over and, uh, you know, he printed extra. He's got, he's getting the books out to people. All right. So I don't want to brush over the fact that, uh, he was also, he also was an animator. He did art and he worked for Pixar studios. That's a pretty big deal that has some clout to it and it means something. Now, uh, while people passing by might hear that and think, you know, or see that and think, oh, well, this guy knows what he's doing then. It gives him uh, more credibility. Getting credibility and starting off, I know this question always comes up a lot. Um, you got to find something. And if you can't get credibility based off of some big project you've done, well, it's a good idea to do some kind of project <laughs> that can give you credibility. Uh, I realize this is a cart before the horse thing, but if you're consistently putting stuff out there and doing work uh, and connecting with people and giving something, giving content, uh, that is what's going to help you be on your way to become uh, like Jason Brubaker. So like I said, I'd love to uh, get there someday. I'm working toward it. This is my campaign, Downcast. I do have 820 backers. Thank you, everybody that's supported it. And we're at $28,000. If you have not checked it out yet, please do. It's on Indiegogo. And it's in the link in the description below. Right now we're in the in-demand phase. You can still back it. Uh, and make sure you get in before the book is finished. Really appreciate everything. Let me know what you think on Jason Brubaker and what we could learn on our own projects and how to improve comics in general. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.